welcome back to mighty microbe channel today we are back with the another pathway that is etna dewdrop pathway which is also known as ed pathway this pathway it occurs in both aerobic and anaerobic condition it occurs only in prokaryote organisms this pathway it was first introduced by michael dewdrop and nathan Eitner in 1952. This pathway it is important to E. coli. Why? Because sugar acids they are metabolized by this E. D. pathway. Moreover, this pathway is generally found in Pseudomonas, Rhizobium, Azotobacter, Agrobacterium, and very few other gram-negative genera. we'll start with the explanation about ed pathway the first step it is phosphorylation phosphorylation takes place where glucose it is converted into glucose 6 phosphate by hexokinase enzyme this reaction it is irreversible reaction and which requires atp which is converted into adp fine this is a phosphorylation step after that the second stage it is oxidative phase where glucose 6 phosphate it is converted into 6 phospho gluconolactone with the help of 6 glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase here oxidation of 6 molecule of glucose six phosphate takes place and this enzyme is an nadp dependent enzyme where six nadp it is reduced to six nadph2 after that six phosphogluconolactone it is converted into six phosphogluconic acid with the help of lactonase enzyme after that this step is dehydration step where 6 phosphogluconic acid it is dehydrated see here a water molecule is removed so it is dehydration it is converted into 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate with the help of enzyme 6 phosphogluconate dehydrates here the key intermediate in this pathway is the presence of 6 phosphogluconate dehydrates means this enzyme it is involved after that there is a cleavage of this step that is 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate it is cleaved into pyruvate and pyruvate sorry it is cleaved into pyruvate and glycerdehyde 3 phosphate with the help of enzyme aldolase fine so here glycerdehyde 3 phosphate it is converted into pyruvate this steps they are similar to glycolytic pathway as you as i have already discussed with you fine after that the next step is oxidation phosphorylation step where glycerdehyde 3 phosphate it is converted into 13 bisphosphoglycerate that is it is oxidized by coenzyme that is nad which is reduced to sorry oxidized to nadh plus h plus with the help of enzyme glycerdehyde 3 phosphate dehydrates after that the next step is 13 bisphosphoglycerate it is converted into 3 phosphoglycerate by the enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase here there is a loss of phosphate group and it is transferred to n a uh, sorry it is transferred to adp which results in the formation of atp 
fine after that the next step is isomerization where three phosphoglycerate it is converted into two phosphoglycerate there is a internal rearrangement to form two phosphoglycerate here the enzyme involved is phosphoglycerate mutase which relocates the phosphate group from third carbon to the second carbon to form two phosphoglycerate after that the next step is dehydration the next step is dehydration where two phosphoglycerate it is converted into phosphoenol pyruvate the enzyme catalyzing this reaction is enolase enolase works by removing water molecule so this is dehydration after that the last step is substrate level phosphorylation where phosphoenol pyruvate it converts into pyruvate with the help of enzyme pyruvate kinase the phosphate group which is attached to second carbon of phosphoenol pyruvate it is transferred to this adp to yield atp fine here the net yield is 1 atp from every one glucose molecule as well as one nadh and one a one nad p as i have given in the significance of ed pathway here this pathway has two specific enzyme that is 6 phosphogluconate dehydratase and kdpg aldolase fine and this pathway it generate one atp one nadh and one nadph from one glucose molecule so this was the explanation about the ed pathway thank you please like share and subscribe my channel